Welcome everybody to a Friday review. We're actually filming this on Thursday, not to be confused or anything, but uh, we've got commitments to tomorrow. The idea is though that we keep consistent. And you'll notice as well that I'm not sitting next to Andy Hemming today. I'm sitting next to the marketing genius, Pete Butler. Not so nice. today we're gonna to have a special episode where we talk about marketing. Where's marketing gone in business? What's the next generation of marketing bringing? and what you can do to make the most out of marketing. So there's a lot of stuff out there at the moment, Pete, talking mm -hmm. about different ideas about marketing. Who do we actually listen to is what I find is a big challenge. There's a lot of different ideas. There's all funnels, there's all SEO things. What's your take on this? Wow, um, it, it gets into a minefield. And the first question I asked you was how long we got? It can be, <laughs> it, it can be, you know, we can be here all day and I can get my whiteboard out and. You know, do all sorts of crazy stuff, but yeah, um, you know, it, it all depends on the client really. And, and what people don't realise is that they'll often they'll often come to us um, or go to a particular provider from the front end point of view. They won't look at the customer experience, so oh. they won't be answering. I mean, you know, the common thing to do really is look at what your customers' questions are. Yeah, and if you can answer those questions, you're most likely going to get into the conversation with them. Right, so don't, you know, because a lot of people talk about how great we are yep. and how great you are. Think about your customer. Think about what their questions are, what are their pain points. So if you talk about customer experience <coughs> then, what do you mean by the customer experience? How, how, how would, in sort of, if, if I'm a business owner right now and I want to improve my marketing through customer experience, what would I do? What sort of things would I put in place? Um, blogging. Is a great way. Okay, um, you're a big fan of that, aren't you? So, yep. uh, blogging um, and intentional uh, marketing, I call pay-per-click advertising. Mm -hmm. So you can target people out there because Facebook and Google uh, know what we're all doing on our mobile devices these days. We're all being pretty much like categorised. So you like you've got a recent you know, bought a new car, bought a new house. Google know that. So essentially. Um, that yeah. that data can be used by other you know advertisers so from your point of view your whatever business you're in however niche it is there's a way of actually targeting your clients through what I call intentional marketing which pay-per-click advertising so you can advertise on Facebook um, and actually target your audience but also on Google as well everyone's come away from Google recently um, in a, in a general format, everyone's been pushing Facebook and social media and how great LinkedIn is and so on and so forth. But you can, all these medias are a way of you actually contacting your clients. It's interesting now how these giants have took over. I mean, oh. if you look five years ago, it was all Google and you, you see a lot of people saying SEO um, and then it's, it's all gone to like Facebook as Facebook has started to grow and you know, all these different platforms are coming about. Um, I know that you're an absolute legend with Facebook ads, and it's probably what people are thinking out there right now as well, is how can I use Facebook for my marketing? So, look at the past then, we've gone from email marketing, we've gone through SEO, Google tends to be still up there, Google is huge. Google's the dominating factor. If you look at Facebook, and I haven't got the stats or the NASDAQ results on it, but Facebook is just Facebook, and yeah. it, it's, become more increasingly um, expensive to advertise on Facebook as with all of them because obviously mm. it's a supply and demand. Facebook's only got one feed, although it scrolls forever. Yeah. Um, it's got limited space. Google has got over 90% of the world wide web, yeah. whether you're in, apart from China, but anyone, any website that's been uh, promoted, whether it's a uh, health and beauty or a news site or anything like that, these, these niche markets, so to speak, there's, there's spots where you can actually advertise on. So Google is such a huge thing. Uh, it's like bigger than Facebook. It's bigger. Yeah, absolutely bigger. Everyone's social. Um, but the thing is with Facebook is it's, it's very disruptive marketing. People aren't on there looking for you. Yeah. Whereas with Google, they're actually searching for you mm. or there's some kind of intent. Whereas um, for interests and behaviors and, and sort of, you know, the social proof so to speak then you've got to be on you've got to be on all of it you can't just be on one and then you can't just do blogging or just do one yeah 
part you, there's you know it's, it's a it's a minefield really it's but it's also very exciting as well so different strategies for different approaches and of course this also depends on the the client that you're, you're looking to attract as well mm. so okay we're gonna have a short break now guys but we'll be back after this and we'll talk about the future of um, of marketing and digital marketing and um, converting leads as well how it actually goes down into conversion rather than just putting the name out there and the branding which is obviously very popular in the past mm. we're talking about how we can actually convert clients too catch you after the break how far are you going to take your business the content you're learning in this video is only the tip of the iceberg if you're ready to take your business to the next level and start implementing the right strategies that are right for you then now is the time to book your complimentary coaching session in the session we explore what strategies will get you to where you want to be in the most effective way possible book your coaching session today Call 01527 757 910 or visit goodtograat.actioncoach.co.uk. Welcome back, guys. You're watching Friday Review, and we've got the special guest, the superstar of marketing, Pete Butler, in the office. You probably spoke to him on the phone if you call the office and you chat to Pete straight away. So, we're talking about marketing and the next generation of marketing, the way it's going, and the things that you need to be preparing your business for so you don't lose out in the future. It's so competitive out there, Pete, at the moment for every business, and a lot of businesses are still going, I want to be on top of SEO. Mm -hmm. I want to be on top of Google, but what you're saying is that it's not just about that anymore. These systems like Google and Facebook are a lot more complex than collecting data all the time, and there's a way that we can actually, you know, harness that sort of information that's being gathered in marketing. Other companies are, and if we're not doing it now, then you're actually missing out. What's the next generation of marketing then? Where, what is the future? What do, what do we need to be looking out for? Well, five years ago, uh, it would have been all about email marketing. Yeah, you know, generate a list, generate an email list. So yeah. whatever type of industry you're in, you know, drive traffic to a landing page. Landing page then gets a name and email address. And if you've got a sales team like we have, uh, we get a telephone number. The next conversation, uh, the next bit is, it's gonna be all about AI, uh, artificial intelligence simply put, um, chatbots are happening mm. at the moment, they have been for the last 18 months. So it's an absolutely great time to actually start the conversations and I'm talking about bottom of the funnel. So you've got cold traffic at the top of the funnel. So if you imagine um, the funnel shape here, um, uh, you've got cold traffic here and you've got hot traffic here. And at each point you've got to have that, you've got to drive people from the top of the funnel yep. to the bottom. And the bottom is obviously the sale where you monetize, where you, you, get, you get your money back on the, on the advertising spend and you get the return on investment. But it's all about um, artificial intelligence. So it's going to be more chatbots and, and sort of getting the conversation from, I'm on my mobile, I'm on the tube, uh, or I'm on the train or wherever you are, walking down the street, at home, in bed, whatever, doing the tea. You, you're starting the conversation and then you're ending up on the phone. So mm -hmm. it's just about that nurturing. So it's all about, it's going to be, it's all AI, it's going to be artificial intelligence. So, so, something that I don't particularly like, and I do know the answer to it already because I've actually explored this, um, but from a, like a psychology background, I always want to be dealing with somebody that I can speak to. Mm. And the idea of a bot kind of like makes me think, well, I don't want, first of all, I don't want to be led down a funnel. Who wants to be led down a funnel, like be manipulated down this funnel? I, I hate that idea. It should always be as though like, it's a win-win for somebody. We're having a conversation. We've got to find a win for the for the, the company. It's got to be a win for the client too. But as I looked into it, and I understand what, what you're saying too now, is that this is all about making it easier for the customer, which comes back to your customer experience thing. Absolutely. If you can speak to a bot 24 hours a day, and they're going to put you in touch with the right person, mm. then why not? Yeah. You know, the, you could speak to a bot and find out, oh, this isn't right for me at all. You know, there's no point to even having a conversation any further because it's not right for me. Or it could be the best thing ever and the boss just educated in your clients in working what the, the best situation is. Yeah. Would uh, you agree? Is, is this, this is the way things are going or? Absolutely. I mean, it's basically from, a client, from, from your point of view, the business owner's point of view, you've got to look at, again, what's the end result that you want to do with some, what, what's, the, what's the end goal of somebody on your website? Are they looking for... 
um, a product or a service, and then you've just got to start the conversation with great questions. Yeah. And the great questions, world class questions, lead to world class answers. Yeah. And and then all of a sudden, they're actually thanking you. Mm. You know how uh, you know how would it feel to have someone actually thank a yeah. bot Absolutely. or a machine that sort of just automatically asks qualifying questions. Yeah. And then the person who gets the inquiry at the end has got a hot lead. Yeah. The customer's been. Um, serviced uh, and feels that you know they've been looked after. They've, you know, it's just had a, a great experience all over. I mean, you you tend to get a, get a lot of inbound calls a day where people will be asking Pete. They've been on the website, and if you go onto our website right now, by the way, at um, good to great dot uk, you scroll down the screen, you'll see a little a little messenger come up, a little yeah. messenger box. You can actually talk to us live on there. Uh, and straight away like it can come up as well do you actually want to speak to Pete so Pete will have people calling in and saying hey can you help me with my marketing I mean Pete knows so much about marketing I'm more to do with the, the digital background as well so we'll have people just asking us these questions and finding out if it's the right scenario for them or, or wherever it may be so guys if you haven't already go and check out good to great the action uk you can see some of the stuff that me and Peter are doing some of the blogs the other episodes etc if you have any more questions pick up the phone speak to Pete if you're not then you could be missing out in the future marketing why not why would you miss out on things that are actually out there and other people are doing catch you next time take care